So the coronavirus is ruining sports. Jorge Pajares, as you are very much aware at this point, uh, this COVID-19 virus, and I know YouTube is being very harsh in demonetizing videos that mention the virus, but as I mentioned before in previous episodes, I don't give a damn. So this coronavirus outbreak, the pandemic that's going on, has really hit uh, a whole nother level of worrying here in the United States. Uh, don't want to get too out of whack because this is an episode discussing the coronavirus and the effects it had on American sports. But just looking at what's going on in Italy, for example, how they shut down the entire country. No one is getting in or out of that country. They're just containing or trying to contain everyone that's been affected. There's been hundreds of deaths in such a short amount of time. Uh, the president just cut all travel to Europe for 30 days. So you either you can't go there if you were here on vacation or for whatever reason, there's no traveling to Europe now. And at first, I was looking at it, and it's like, all right, it's just the European countries. We haven't really been affected by it that much. It's pretty much been the rest of the world, and there was a lot of measures that's been taken care of to help fight the virus. China, of course, is where it originated from, and they've done drastic measures to try to fight it. They built a, a hospital in like 10 days. Uh, now that they're in th the whole implementation of uh, having basically good hygiene, washing your hands, uh, hand san the use of hand sanitizers. They had, a, I believe the Chinese government or someone in China made a huge viral video on washing your hands and the importance of washing your hands. Um, and since then, they, the coronavirus outbreak has not been as severe as when it first began in China. Um, but as far as sports goes, a lot of soccer players have been uh, affected by this. They had to, a lot of soccer games had to play in empty stadiums. <laughs> and there's that viral uh, video of Neymar uh, just clapping the empty crowd <laughs> and the empty arena as they play soccer. And it's just, it's, it, it, it's been affecting the sports, all sports, everywhere. Uh, someone from, I believe, Juventus, uh, was dying was diagnosed as positive for uh, he tested positive for coronavirus and then a num number of players from Arsenal were also tested positive so this is this is really affecting a lot of people and, and the initial thought was that it's anyone with a compromised immune system someone that in the in, in the elder years or has some some sort of uh, setback health wise, if you're younger than, than the elderly age of like 60 and up, if you're younger, if you have some something that affects you, uh, affects your immune system, then, you know, stay clean. Don't leave your house unless it's absolutely necessary for like uh, work or grocery shopping, things of that nature. And then in the, the United States, there hasn't really been much uh, discussion over it. There's been, as in New York State actually, uh, there's been 148 cases now it's going up to 200 i think and half of them are from westchester county so it's it, it's it's getting crazy but it wasn't affecting the sports in the united states uh around the world obviously in soccer as i mentioned before but something happened recently yesterday <laughs> where uh the thunder 
I believe it was the Thunder Jazz game, was canceled. Postponed. They said postponed, but I think it was canceled. Um, and there wasn't really a reason why until breaking news hit late last night that Rudy Gobert tested positive for coronavirus. And Rudy Gobert infamously um, touched all the microphones after the discussions of playing uh, NBA games without any fans in attendance was being brought up. And I guess Rudy Gobert didn't take it that seriously um, as he touched all the microphones and just walked away. Um, there were reports coming out saying that he was careless, that he just came into contact with all the players, touched all their stuff, and that's how he got the virus, and then the microphone, so it's it's always it's always something, but they're, they're definitely, Rudy Gobert is definitely being vilified for this, because the end result of what happened is that because Rudy Gobert um, tested positive for coronavirus, I think, because of Rudy Gobert, but it's pretty evident. The NBA suspended the rest of the season until further notice. Um, and after they suspended the season, Donovan Mitchell, Spider, he tested positive for coronavirus. And it's it, 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 it it's now starting to affect the NBA. And we're knee-deep in the NBA season. Uh, Twenty there, There's around 20 games left in the NBA season. Um, if this extends past two weeks... Then we enter April, and that's playoff time. So the discussion of, oh, well, maybe when if this coronavirus gets dealt with within two weeks, then the NBA would just jump right into playoff mode. No end of regular season, obviously. And Vince Carter's last game of his career would be against the Knicks, where the Knicks... Uh, blew them out, I believe, or like won by a fairly decent margin. And that's kind of disappointing because there wasn't really like a huge send-off for Vince Carter. It was just a random game against the Knicks. Uh, but the NBA season has been affected by this a lot by the suspension. And now, uh, after the NBA suspended their season, uh, the National Hockey League suspended their season as well. And they're in the same situation where... The NHL and NBA are almost hand in hand, where both of their playoffs are around the similar time frame, that are around the same time, and now the NHL is wondering whether they should start up again. And the NHL, I think, is the NHL and NBA are, are, are interesting because both their players, but both both leagues have players from around the world, so the coronavirus is far is a far more serious threat in those leagues than it is for, let's say, an NFL. Uh, Major League Baseball also announced, after the NBA and NHL announced their suspensions, that they would cancel all remaining spring training games and delay the season, uh, the, the delay the opening of the season for two weeks, at least. So that's, that's pretty much all the major sports, NBA, NHL, baseball, that's pretty much the three major sports going on right now. And it's a lot of panic at this point as a sports fan. A lot of panic. Um, and it's just... I've, I, I've had this thing where, with the coronavirus where like I understand the seriousness of the disease. But what frustrates me about, the, about this disease is that... Um, the, the way to stop it is just by washing your hands, pra practicing general good hygiene. Um, oh, I forgot to mention the college sports, college basketball, men and women's. Uh, since we were in March, we ju I just had a, a video, a video, an episode of Off the Bench coming out today, uh, March 12th, on the University of Hartford and how they, the history of their uh, men's and women's basketball programs. The basketball tournaments are over. They're canceled. They're not going to happen for the time being. Who knows? Maybe they'll start in like end of April, May-ish. But then you're really, depending on how the school goes with 
Um, a lot of major colleges and universities are going into online classes now, um, especially in the tri-state area and Northeast. Um, so that's that's another issue, and you can't go really deep with college basketball and go deep into June because these aren't just like regular athletes where you can where it's like a let's say LeBron James and you say all right just we'll give it, we'll give it two weeks and then you'll come back like these these kids don't live they live on campus but that's not their home they have to they have homes they have to go to and originally the college basketball tournaments was going to allow families and essential staff that's out the window now so every major sport that is relevant in the spring right now is being affected the xfl just announced that they're uh, shutting down and by shutting down they also mean suspending play but they can't suspend play because they they're a, a small their season is very small they've already i believe they're already in like week either five or six already over halfway into the season um so they have to shut the season down because if they shut it down and move it into april now you're dealing with having the NFL and, and dealing with uh, stepping on the NFL's toes with the NFL draft, and that's a whole big thing. And the NFL, who knows what's going to happen with the NFL draft now? Um, they're, it's supposed to take place in Las Vegas, and it's it may not look, depending on how this coronavirus goes, I don't know if that's going to still, the, the setup is supposed to be awesome, but who knows what's going to happen. Um it just sucks as a sports fan to have this news come out where every major sport that's going on right now is suspended and you can't watch it. Pretty much we're stuck to just playing the video game versions of these sports. And I have to, t I have to tell you that I love Madden, I love NBA 2K, but I'm not going to start, you know, just playing it to play it just to get my fix in. It's not the same, you know, because I'm controlling the players. It's not the same. It's not the same watching, uh, playing Lakers Clippers with me and a friend when I'd rather watch how LeBron James would actually go up against Kawhi Leonard and stuff like that. Watching baseball, spring training. I mean, really, spring training, how can you replicate that and then will be the show? I mean, sure, you can play spring training, but it's not the same. It's not the same. Um... And it just sucks. We're at a we're at a, we're at a crazy, wild, weird time uh, in in uh, in history right now. This is this is life. Sports are suspended. We no more sports for the time being. Um, and it's especially uh, crappy for me, as I mentioned in the Hartford video in episode. Excuse me, uh, video for the YouTube viewers. Uh, episode for the uh, Spotify listeners. Um, my alma mater, University of Hartford, was was going to compete for their first ever uh, for for the for, for the America's Championship, their second appearance in a men's basketball championship tournament, a cha championship game, not tournament. Um, and it's just it's just sad because you know that was that could have been history making had Hartford pulled off the upset against Vermont, but. It's it's sad. This this thing is this thing is rough, and now it's starting to affect every part of uh, society. Um, just it's no longer just okay. We'll get through it. Just we'll, we'll just have some hand sanitizer. It's it'll be okay. And granted, China has made their a fair amount of measures in the recent months, and it. The, the virus isn't as serious as it once was, but the fact of the matter is, uh, we weren't prepared for this. And I believe that I believe that the sports will be fine. I believe the XFL will do but will do fine. They'll come back next spring. Um, they'll probably have a draft next year. They're, if if they shut down now, then that means. Vince McMahon is made of money. Um, and the other thing about Vince McMahon, I'm going to mention mentioning the XFL. Vince McMahon, his big WWE event, WrestleMania, is on the verge of cancellation 
because the city of Tampa Bay is considering canceling all major events. And what major event is on the horizon in Tampa Bay? WrestleMania. And Vince McMahon is the type of character who will hear news about a journalist being killed and beheaded and everything in Saudi Arabia and then will say fuck that and end up doing a show in Saudi Arabia anyway because I'm Vince McMahon, I can do whatever the hell I want. This case though, he doesn't have that kind of power. If the city of Tampa Bay says, hey, we're going to cancel all major events that's of X amount of people or higher, then Vince McMahon has to say, okay, then we'll stop construction for WrestleMania. We'll, we'll, we'll stop it coming. Because the thing about wrestling is that it's really popular in the UK and the rest of Europe. Uh, you, you look at wrestling here compared to the rest of the world, and the rest of the world loves wrestling. So it's a huge touristy attraction. It's almost like a, a Disneyland, but once a year. Um, and now that the travel ban for uh, Europe is, is up for 30 days, you're definitely not getting any European fan bases that would cheer all sorts of cheers <laughs> on WrestleMania, Raw, SmackDown. So it's it's just you have to see what we have to see what is going to happen with WrestleMania. Um, I think it's still going to go on if Tampa Bay, unless Tampa Bay tells the city officials, unless they t tell Vince McMahon of WWE, you can't have the event. We're canceling all the events. I think WrestleMania is still going to go. But as far as the XFL goes, Vince McMahon still has a ton of money from Saudi Arabia he can use uh, to fund the XFL. And I believe they still have the deals intact with ESPN and Fox that they've been doing for their games. So... This is, it's, it's not a big blow. This isn't like the, the uh, Alliance of American Football, the AAF, that went, that uh, had to hire um, a new owner at the last, uh, at the last hour just for him to say, hey, I'm done with this league. I don't like it. We're shutting it down like halfway through. That's, that's a different, that's a different scenario because the XFL was going to keep running through this entire 10 game season and have a championship game but obviously you can't have that happen now um but i believe it'll be back next year they'll they're probably going to try to start working on the draft now but i believe the xfl will be fine they'll be fine uh they still have the talent there uh it's it's gotten a lot of eyes on the product a lot of people are are, are, are fans of the teams i mean i'm I wasn't a big fan of any of the teams. I'm just a football junkie. I'm a sports junkie for most things. Uh, basketball, football, baseball. Uh, so I like to watch other leagues and see how they play. Um, see if there's anyone that pops into my head and just gets my attention. Uh, but at the end of the day, they'll be fine. But for this 2020 season, it's game over. Um, NBA, I don't know if they're going to do the playoffs they might just cancel the entire season and just say you know what screw it like if this isn't getting any better our players are already infected we're not going to do it um baseball who knows what's going to happen with baseball i mean i'd say just go just wait until the summer for baseball like there's no there's no reason to, to start in the spring see set a date for maybe june i'd say and that, that's a long time without baseball, honestly. It is, and I love baseball, but at the end of the day, you're talking about the safety of the players, the coaches, and the fans, and the staff that would be at these stadiums. And if there's going to be that one person who's tested positive, but um, didn't really, isn't, isn't living in like a containment area or hasn't really or is, doesn't know that they are positive with the coronavirus, they think it's just a cold or allergies or whatever, um, it could be really dangerous, you know? So, we'll, we'll see. Uh, hopefully this doesn't affect us too much. Hopefully by April, May-ish, we get, we get some of our sports back. Maybe NCAA can figure something out with the women's and men's basketball tournaments. Uh, a lot of universities have already shut down all of their athletic game, all, all the athletics 
there's no more sports in any university going on. A lot of universities have either uh, told, suggested students go home or suggested that students just keep themselves clean. A lot of them switch to an online format depending on the size of the school, but it's, it's really a pain uh, for everyone. It's, it's, I say a pain, but like it, it almost feels like it's an inconvenience. And you hate to say that because of a disease that's turned into a pandemic. People are like, and sure, the recovery rate is extremely high, but still, like, this is stuff that it's now affecting our day, our daily lives. And no matter who you are, if if you're white, black, Latino, Asian, whatever, it's it's affecting all of us now. So if you're out there, and like me, live near an area that has uh, the COVID-19, uh, just, just stay clean. You just practice good hygiene, you know, buy, uh, wash your hands, shower, keep the hand sanitizer. There's no need for masks. There's no, there's no need for gloves. Just unless, unless you're going out, invest in some portable wipes, just so in case you're on the subway or on a train or at the gym, just so you can do what you usually do. And that's what I mean by an inconven inconvenience. What this is going to do is just if people haven't already been practicing these things, it's going to be, oh, now I have to do this on top of everything else I do. Um, and if, just make sure you stay clean. I mean, people are still going to get sick uh, from other things. Like, my, I have a sister right now who has a cold. And it's not the coronavirus. She's not short of breath. She's not, like, that extreme. She just has a cold. And we just bought her some stuff. Just stay calm. Practice good hygiene. Wash your hands. Wash your body. Practice. Just practice good hygiene. Get some portable wipes if you can, and everything will be fine. Everything should be fine. Anyway, this was a very somber episode. Uh, I'll try to get more enticing things, but we have right now the wrestling world is at, is, is on is on edge. I have tickets to go to Newark to see uh, all the wrestling morning, dynamite, but now that is might be off the table. They, all the wrestling is back to Rochester, uh, taping to the back to Jacksonville. Uh, so we'll see, we'll see what everything goes. If WrestleMania ends up being canceled, I'll do an episode on that. But as of right now, just stay clean, like the Like the video on YouTube, follow the channel. Spotify, and I'll catch you later. Stay clean.